Christina Aguilera always had a dream of becoming a singer and got her first glimpse at stardom by appearing in the all-new Mickey Mouse Club in the 90s alongside some very well-known artists like Justin Timberlake and Britney Spears. Here's Christina with Lindsay, TJ, Justin, Britney, and Jennifer singing I Have Nothing. Woo! In 1999, she released her hit single, Genie in a Bottle, which is still her best-selling single to this day. She's won various awards, including a Grammy and a Teen Choice Award, and has gone on to have a very successful career as an artist. One thing we can definitely praise is her versatility. Not many people would be able to transition from albums like Strip to albums like Back to Basics. Strip sold 12 million copies worldwide and is one of the most successful albums of its time. This was Aguilera's fourth studio album, but the first album where she had full creative control over the songs and the image she wanted to portray. Christina ditched her pop princess image for a more raunchier and naughtier image. She sported platinum blonde hair with black highlights, smoky eye makeup, piercings, and far less clothing. Along with that came her alter ego, Xtina. Aguilera worked tirelessly producing this project to break free of the image that the music industry was trying to force on her. She worked with some heavy hitters on this album, including Questlove, Little Kim, Alicia Keys, and hip hop producer Scott Storch. Strip combines hip hop, R&B, and Latin with hints of rock. This album debuted at the number two spot on the Billboard 200. In many ways, this was her coming out album where she bared her soul and talked about sensitive topics like feminism, sexuality, and double standards. This is still considered her rawest album and a symbol of feminism. In songs like Can't Hold Us Down, she talked about double standards between men and women. And in songs like The Voice Within, she encourages self-love and validating ourselves. Even though Strip was one of her most successful projects, the album sparked some controversy and received mixed reviews. The album was criticized for its sexual themes and Christina's daring fashion choices. It seemed that her new look had garnered a lot of attention and not good attention. When this album was released, Christina did not have the luxury of posting her work all over streaming platforms, like today. She could only release snippets of her work, and she was being judged off of the parts that she was releasing instead of the project in its entirety. This is unlike artists today who can release their full body of work on various platforms. Along with this came the slut shaming and bullying. This started with Eminem, who had accused Aguilera of giving head to Carson Daly and Fred Durst in his song, The Real Slim Shady. Christina Aguilera had an MTV special where she commented on Eminem's relationship with his ex-wife and his song 97 Bonnie and Clyde, which is about the fantasization of murdering his ex-wife. She also gave her opinions on physical violence in a relationship. Eminem did not like the comments she made and dissed her in his song. Aguilera denied the rumors and Eminem later revealed that he did it to get back at her for her comments on his personal business. Conan O'Brien followed suit with calling Christina Aguilera a slut on national television. Magazines labeled her as a sleazy woman. Time magazine even labeled her as an intergalactic hooker. What they failed to realize at the time was that a strip was not about her trying to become a sex symbol, but more peeling back the layers so we can get to know her and all aspects of her life from her rough childhood to her learned lessons from her past relationships. More importantly, Strip pushed certain conversations forward in a time where my body, my choice was not a thing, in a time where women were not as accepted for dressing in a sexier way. This particular body of work influenced artists to let go of the cookie cutter image if it didn't serve them anymore. Many artists experimented with daring artistic jumps in their careers as well, including Miley Cyrus in her Bangers album and Rihanna in her Good Girl Gone Bad album. Today, artists are allowed to be more sex positive and explore their sexuality in ways they couldn't beforehand. Her album Strip created a path for other artists to do the same thing, and today her influence can be seen all over the music scene. Aguilera had a clear vision for this album and it has definitely come into fruition today. This album greatly showcased her incredible artistry and the risk she's willing to take to produce great work. 